Did you come for that house plant tour you wanted? Okay, I'm ready for you, but hey, I was counting and I couldn't believe it. I think I have over 200 house plants. Do you still want to see them? Well, if you do, let's get started. Let's get started with my plant room, okay? Come on back. Okay, so this is my plant room. I'll show you around in case you're curious. So, okay, so let's talk about this plant wall over here. We're going to start from this first shelf. Um, first, I will say that these shelves... Um, we built them, my husband and I, and it was not that hard. At least it wasn't that hard for me. <laughs> um, use these pipes to hold up the shelves. I, uh, I stained the wood. I can say I did that part. <laughs> but um, they've been great and I love them. Love them. Look at that color. And we're going to start here. This is an orchid cactus. And I got this at Lowe's. And I think it's beautiful. It's been, it's been easy to take care of. Um, interesting enough, it's a cactus, I guess, in the family. But it doesn't behave like a normal cactus where it wants a lot of bright light or a lot of water. Or very little water. It actually requires a little more water. I kind of, um, you can kind of touch it and feel it. When it becomes very flimsy, you know it needs water. Um, and I've had it in a window that doesn't get direct light, but it's doing pretty good. Uh, we have here a uh, Florida Beauty. And this plant's been okay, but it's not growing much. I feel like I need to change the pot. I have it in a terracotta pot and it dries up, up too quickly. So... I usually forget to water it in time, so it loses a little bit of a leaf or two. Like this was going to shoot up new leaves and it dried up. So I've, I've been maybe not giving it as much attention as I need to. That's the Florida Beauty. Usually it's known for its beautiful splashes in its leaves. It's really pretty. And I love this. I saw it somewhere and I had to pick it up. Isn't that beautiful? Gotta enjoy every day and these plants definitely help us enjoy every day don't they a little cacti i don't know his name but he's very very easy i haven't had it where it received too much light i recently brought it over here to this plant shelf and this room receives very good light so i'm gonna keep it here for a while this is a devil's backbone Something like that. I don't know the complete name, but I remember that part. <laughs> and it's pretty cool because look at that stem. It's like zigzag. Isn't that cool? And it's variegated kind. I know there's a regular kind and this one that has these leaves. This one's easy care. Just don't let it dry up too much. Right now this baby probably needs water. It does. And then here we have a philodendron. Um, is this a lemon lime philodendron? I believe that was the name. Got it at Trader Joe's and it's grown beautifully. Very easy to take care of it. And there's a new baby coming up. It's always exciting. When it comes, the new leaf unfurls. It's a very bright in color. As it starts maturing, it starts darkening in color. And then up here, there's this uh, uh, Discidia Jerry, G-E-R-I. And found this when I was looking for my string of turtles um, during the time that some people were finding some string of turtles. I didn't find a string of turtles, but I found this one. And I am in love and so happy I found this one. She's been so easy to take care of. Been happy in medium light not giving me any trouble and i actually realized that one of the leaves was turning purple i'm not sure right now where it's at but because it was getting some more light it was hanging in my kitchen window but i moved it over here because it was too close to the cold window and i brought it over here um, but anyhow i really recommend this plant oh and as it gets longer can you just imagine 
how cute and beautiful this is going to be. So again, this is from a big box store. It was super full, super healthy for like, I don't know, $17. Very happy with it. And then here I have my first Wolfen um, Sansevieria Dracaena. Sorry about the shadow because the sun's setting behind me. Anyhow, um, this is, I'm trying to rehydrate it because it kind of came like this and I'm trying to rehydrate it so hopefully it will open up so you can enjoy its beautiful variegation or I can enjoy it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those colors. Isn't it beautiful? Can't wait until it opens up. So supposed to patiently hydrate it back. So what I'm doing is just watering it a little more often than what I would normally water a sensitive area, maybe once a week. And that's what I'm doing. If you guys have any suggestions or if anybody has had a sensitive, uh, a will fin that's been like curled up like that, how long did it take to hydrate it? I'd like to know that. And so I here I have a Manjula Pothos from Lowe's. You know, these babies take a while to grow, but those colors are pretty, aren't they? Look at that little marbled look this one has more of a little light green not too much white here she is and we have a begonia here this is a torch angel wing torch begonia and i did a begonia video and i already talked more about them beautiful easy too so that's that there in this wall and then right over here, we have uh, Monstera. And if you guys see saw my video of my $5 Monsteras that I was able to find in clearings and lows, this is one of them. Isn't she beautiful? And remember, it came with more than one plant. I, it came with two different Monstera plants. This is the division, just kept one of them here. And look, 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 look. A new leaf is unfurling. And I'm shocked because it's winter and I actually messed with the roots a lot when I was repotting it and it's still unfurling another leaf. So I'm so happy with this purchase. Buddy, say hello. <laughs> so now we're going to do some plant shelves. Um, we're going to start here with this fiddle leaf tree. This is my fiddle leaf tree that I bought from all these. I don't know about a year and a half ago and um i was struggling with plants well back then i didn't know too much about plants and uh i just saw this leaf that's from another plant okay um and it was in terrible terrible condition it already came with brown edges brown leaves and i almost threw it in the trash can it was looking so bad i was ready to buy another one and I didn't throw it away. I, th I think this is kind of what started me into plants, collecting plants. I started looking up YouTube videos on fiddle leaf trees. And um, I learned tips and it's worked. See, <laughs> it's doing great. And that's, I think, when my plant addiction started or my plant love. Um, <laughs> because I started looking at more YouTube videos of different kinds of plants, and I kind of was like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna. I need to try some other ones." And yeah, you learn a lot from other people's experiences. So that one's doing really good. And coming up here, these are the IKEA plant shelves that are glass, and I'm very, very, very happy with them. And let's start up here. So this is called Polynesian Ivy. Uh, that's one of its names. And you guys might have seen it in one of my big box store finds. Uh, and I've been struggling with it. It doesn't look as great or as full as it did when I just bought it. But I've been trying to find what it wants. And I finally have just put it in this room, which is going to get morning sunlight and hopefully it's gonna work. Um, one of the things I have learned already by experience, it does not like to dry up. So I have to like be checking the soil when it starts drying up, I'm gonna keep it more on the moist than letting it dry. And hopefully it won't stop dropping leaves because it's been dropping a lot of leaves and then the leaves have been getting some of this. Maybe you guys can help me. Some of this like 
mold and I've already sprayed it with some anti-mold stuff that I found at Lowe's but it still appears from time to time so I don't know okay so anyhow then the next one here is my Monstera Silti Picana let's get a close up here on its beauty getting some afternoon evening some sunset sun on it let's bring it down so you guys can see how it's doing i did a video where i was repotting it did i do it i maybe i didn't post it but i repotted it i did an unboxing video of it i got this at steve's leaves and uh it's doing great and i did do this trellis so it can start climbing and i bought two plants and i put them all together in this terracotta pot so i look forward to the spring and summer so hopefully it will fill it up okay and right next to it we have here a horse head philodendron where are you there you are got this plant for two dollars and 99 cents when it was really little isn't it beautiful or a fiddle leaf philodendron and then in this other one other shelf on the top we have a tear drop peperomia which is gorgeous it's doing great 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 it loves light so give it some light and it will be happy it's been pushing up pushing out growth we just had to stop and admire this teardrop peperomia it's like <laughs> so shiny waxy this is a coastal like i mentioned coastal farms Trending tropicals find. <gasps> Oops, what did I just do? I don't know. Don't do that at home. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I could propagate it. So basically, one way to propagate these is basically this leaf. I can. I've seen that you can cut it in half, and then they just put it in the dirt, and it'll grow a new plant. And it worked for me. I actually did it. That those new ones, I had done that with a leaf. Later on, the leaf game got ugly, so I took it out of the dirt, but a new plant grew out of it. So yeah, don't waste your leaves if something like that happens. Gorgeous. And then right beside here is the Pilea pancake plant, a Chinese money plant. That's the name I remember overall. And it's been doing um, okay. It was doing better. I got a lot of pups from out of it. Um, I've given it to a lot of friends. But sometimes some leaves turn yellow and they fall off. But it keeps pushing out new growth. That I know of, I, I don't know. It's like I feel like some people also struggle with it too. It starts great and all of a sudden sometimes it starts going funny picky coming down to the second shelf um we have here a Hoya Chelsea I love it I love the shape I mean it's not an exact round leaf it's a little half round half heart with some crinkles in it yes very very pretty and then behind this, we have this Peperomia. And it's the purple one. Peperomia, ripple, something. I'll put the name down there maybe, or I don't know. And that one's struggling, as you guys can see. It actually died. Some leaves died. And this is the Y-A-T-I Maculata, or I like to call it the Polka Dot. Begonia, because <laughs> look at those polka dots. Love it. Coastal Farms, fine, and it is growing, growing a lot. And um, let's see back here. This is a Peperomia Hope. 
it's doing pretty good i might say how's the lighting here and then we have a pencil cactus crazy little man that does not require much light no not much, a lot of light but very little water okay and then we have here an anglonema i don't i don't have many anglonemas and people say they're so easy but um not in my case i don't know what it wants i'm giving it prime location right now it seems moist but not too wet i don't know and this is a wolf fin another wolf fin it actually is a twinsie of the other wolf fin that i have or the baby or one was the mom was the baby i separated it and it's doing good very pretty okay so guys i'm not going very straight okay the second shelf on this side this is uh exotica scandapsis the one with the big leaves and i've been it's been i've been waiting and waiting for it to trail and grow and it's taking a long time so i just brought it to this room because it's going to get a lot more light so hopefully it'll do better and then right here have the string of pearls Ooh, sorry the princess is getting in the way string of pearls it's actually doing pretty good considering that i got it super little and it's been it's gonna i think it's gonna start trailing for me very well this spring summer and then who do we have here oh just been a recently watered bring her down the princess the princess philodendron pink princess so she's kind of splashy that's the prettiest pink part right there <laughs> um kind of splashy but one day she'll get there at being more pink but happy she's happy Mama's happy. And then right over here, we have a moonlight philodendron. I don't know if the lemon lime philodendron and the moonlight philodendron are the same thing. Can somebody answer that question? Because they look the same to me. And then here we have... What is this? Uh, teardrop. Huh, I'm having a brain freeze right now but this one was doing um not that great <laughs> and i actually didn't like it that much i was kind of like why did i buy you and then i put it where it got more light and the variegation has become so much prettier and it's gotten so full so i really like it really really like it you see these at Lowe's all the time or at big box stores and then this is the philodendron birkin Woo! That's what that, I think that's what she's saying to me when I look at her. So beautiful. Look at that white. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I am happy with my Birkin. Some people might think they're boring. Not to me. I think they're so elegant. Like they're a swan. That's what they are. A swan. Okay, coming down to this shelf. Pilea Glauca. And um, it's taken me a bit to get used to to it. It actually does not want to dry out. If you let it dry out, it's going to lose a lot of leaves. And um, don't let it dry out. Oops. <laughs> and um, it does like light. So now that I am have it in this better spot, it's starting to trail a little bit and not lose as many leaves. But I can't wait until she's actually fuller. But she's dainty. She's pretty. Begonia Rex, McLaughlin, something like that. And she's beautiful. And we have a Brantianum philodendron. And this is a propagation. And she is doing pretty good. She's giving you leaves. And, and a Hoya Pubia Calyx that I just got not too long ago, about a week ago. And a Moonlight Skindapsis Trubii. And uh, it seems like it had just recently been potted up here. So it's taking a while for this little leaf to open. But it's opening 
I'm trying to find a big full one at a big box store. Hopefully I can find one. We have here another begonia. She's doing good. And <laughs> Triangulatis barrigata. Ficus, not doing very good. This has been a hard plant. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people experience this one dropping leaves. But anyways, I we're giving her prime location, early morning sun. <sighs> Letting her just dry, just in, as soon as she dries, watering her. But she's still not doing good. So if she if she ends up dying, that's it. That's it. Hoya retusa, which I was in search for the linearis, but I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and got the retusa, and I am surprised how cute she is. Like, I think she's so much alike like the Linearis. But when I get the Linearis, I'm going to be able to compare side by side. But um, I think she's so cute. And then we have an African Violet. At first, I thought, ah, oh, African Violets. They're a little boring. I got this one because it was variegated with the white leaves on the edges. But then, now that I've been appreciating her, oh my, so pretty. The leaves, they even glitter. Like when they have like glitter, the purple has a little bit of glitter when the sun shines to it. Love it. Easy plant too. A pencil cact no docktails cactus. This is a propagation and it's taking up because it's growing new little cacti little babies right here. Or whatever you call this. So cute. Jade pothos. Oh, someone at work gave me this. It was so sweet. And then here. We have different types of uh, succulents and cacti. I'm not going to name each one of them because I don't remember its names. But I'm slowly growing to my collection. And I'm just picking according to what I like in shapes and sizes. And I am loving them. This is a domino cactus. <laughs> and this is a rabbit. What do you call this one? Bunny? Rabbit? Cacti? So cute. I like the furry ones. The crazy ones. Looks like corn. <laughs> so cute. And this is my section with different string of plants. I love me some stringy plants. And it's underneath my Blooms Plus 1000 light. And you guys can see an unboxing video where I did about that. And these plants have been doing great. I wanted to go ahead and tell you that um, I've really enjoyed having the light. Because plants like the succulents and the, the cacti that need more light are doing so good underneath it. And so many different plants around this area are getting benefits of that light. And look at the growth. You can use my unboxing video to see the com compare how it's grown. But this is the very greatest string of hearts. It's getting so pink. So beautiful. Filling up the pot more and more. This is my string of hearts propagation. It's trailing more and more. My string of spades that I've only had it underneath the light for maybe three weeks and look at it grow. Beautiful. And this is my string of turtles. I repotted it into this terracotta bigger pot and it's filling it up and it's starting to trill. Isn't this a cutie? Love it. Thank you Blooms Plus for giving me this light because I am loving it. So right beside it, I keep other plants that I want them to have a lot of light, like my Thai constellation that I just did a little video where I repotted in soil after um, going through root rot and it's still doing good. It's been about one week since I potted it in the soil and it's still looking good. Um, my Monstera Ginny, this Monstera has been going through some issues before month ago no about three four months ago i dropped almost all of its leaves and i thought it was gonna die but it's now starting to give new leaves like all of these are new so i think it's gonna make it and then i have here uh Cibu blue pothos where it can trail up it's beautiful plant beautiful plant so that's it with my second level i would call it Okay, so we're going to start now the one, two, three, fourth shelf down, okay? So here we have one of our more, more, more beautiful plants that I love. And these are peperomias. And um, these are called, this is a rugosa. And 
you might have seen a video when I hauled this peperomia, but my, 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 that's all I can say. Look at these textured leaves. They are incredible to me. I have, and then another one that I picked up that same day, that's at Gunther's Greenhouse in Durham, is this one. This is a great pumpkin. And they're similar, but different. The great pumpkin is lighter in color compared to the other one. Um, I have been battling mealybugs. It came with a lot of mealybugs when I got it. And I've been battling them, but it hasn't been that bad. Mealybugs, you know, you just gotta treat them. Treat it about every week or every three, four days. I've sprayed them down, but they're doing beautiful. They like bright light. So I like it that here they can get some light from the window and they can get some light from the Bioplast Plus that I have right here. So those are benefiting, benefiting from it. And then here we have the original um, Dog's Tail Cactus. It's doing really good. And then we have here the, uh, the Begonia Frost. She's doing so good. She's so beautiful and lush and silvery. Love it, love it, love it. And then right over here is another beautiful plant. This is the Hoya Australis Lisa, the variegated kind. Guys, and I am in awe with this Hoya because of the, the variegation. It, this one is highly variegated. See, every single leaf has that lemon lime color. Beautiful. And then the new little leaves come in pink. Look at that color. It's beautiful. I can't wait to see this one trail, but oh, got a beautiful one. It just, in the shipment, it seems like it arrived with like damage. And you guys might have seen my haul where I got this one. If not, just check back in my videos and you'll see when I got that one. Now I want to just pull some back from back here. What is this one called? Crassula? Something like that. Variegated. Isn't it beautiful? Think this is a beautiful plant but it's kind of doing a little crazy here <laughs> but it's still doing good and it keeps growing and growing i have it where it gets afternoon light so it does get it is getting a lot of light but it's getting pretty tall just look at that and then back here i have some calancholis and i don't know the exact name at this point i said it in the hall when i got it but at this point i don't remember exactly but it's the furry one. Isn't it a beautiful? I think this is a beautiful succulent. And so I think it's a cal calancholy. And I think it's, I'm not sure if it's a sec succulent or cactus. Kind of looked it up really quickly and said cactus, but that threw me off. I thought this is a succulent. But anyhow, a little leaf broke off. As you see here, it fell and it broke off. So we actually put it here. And look, another plant coming out. Isn't this the cutest? So it's pretty easy to propagate. Just put it by the dirt here and oh, on the soil. Very airy. This is uh, soil for succulents. So it's very, it drains really fast. And just watered it very lightly here and there. And look at that. It's getting lots of sun. And we have another calicoli. And guys, I might not pronounce all the names right. They all might not be perfect, but I'm... I'm doing what I can right now, and I'm just overall just sharing my plant love. I'm not an expert, um, but I'm just sharing my plant love. And look at this one. Another calancholy. And this one's also soft and suede-like, but it's not as fussy as the other one. But I love plants that you can touch. So cute. So cute. And then, I'm going to, excuse me, pull out this one here. This is a bear paw and a variegated kind. Isn't it so cute? I love, love, love this one. When I saw it, I was just, my heart just beat, beat a little faster. Look at those pink little nails that this little bear's paw has. It is adorable. Adorable. Very beautiful. And then back here, I keep this here in the window seal because they get a lot of light and I can have more space here on my shelves. 
Look at this cutie. <laughs> I think this is so, so cute. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the name of this one. Um, somebody gave, told me in the comments a name and I looked for it, but it looked slightly different to me. Um, just this one here has these squiggly little wrinkles, which I love. So I hope to see this one growing. Isn't this little plant pot so cute? I love it. Okay, let's put this back. And then moving forward to this shelf right here. Okay, here we have a Hoya that I recently did a lot of cuttings from and I'm propagating. I'll show you in a bit where it's at, but this is a Koya Crinkle 8. And then here we have a, I think this is called a pink neon syngonium. It's a very nicely pink one. I was looking for one that was pink. I wanted it as pink as possible. Maybe it's lost a little bit of its pinkish tint to it, but I'm not sure what you're supposed to do to, for them to have more pink. I actually put it where it got more light and I feel like it's losing some of its pink where it's here where it gets more light. But isn't it beautiful? And with this, this pot, I love the combo. Love it, love it. And then back here, it's a Dottie Kale uh, Kalithia. And I almost threw it away because I was like, everybody has issues with it. As you saw, I had issues with it. And then I was ready to throw it away. And then my husband said, don't throw it away. And I'm like, well, you take care of it. So he actually, um, <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. I think we just put it here where there was more lights. And look at that. Would you believe that? It refuses to die. And it's putting out a new leaf. So I'm very happy to see that we have it here with some water, some and the pebbles and to have more humidity. And here, obviously, in the plant room, it gets a lot more humidity because there's a lot of plants. And we do have a humidifier in this room. So we don't turn it on all the time. And this is a very nice one too. This one's an alocasia. Here's the name. Loud, louder. I'm not gonna say the name. You guys can look at it. And uh, this one, I we actually forgot about it and um, didn't water it. And we actually put it where there was getting afternoon sun and it killed off a lot of its leaves. They turned yellow and it died. But we've now been more careful with it. And look, it's giving a new leaf. Okay, it's very cute. And then, oh, this one needs water. This one needs water. Um, what is this one called? Ah, uh, what is it called? Hoya Curtisii. Curtisii, yeah, Hoya Curtisii. That, there you go. Um, it got it. My husband brought it home from Lowe's, and I thought it was a great find. I was so excited. But see, yes, it's yellowing here some leaves because I think I need to give it more water. Yeah, but it's grown some, and it's I think so dainty. I do like it a lot, and I'm very very happy with this plant. I would buy it again. And then back here we have a little cac. Dying. I don't know his name and I'm gonna take very care of him. Hopefully I put him where he's gonna get more light than what he was before. He's already grown some. All this is new growth and I pulled off of that fake flower that it came with in Lowe's. Um, but anyways, it's grown some so hopefully we'll get a flower. And then a Peperomia obstifolia. The part of it died and now it, we put it here in the plant room where it gets a lot more light. Hopefully it will grow more. And um, these are my Hoya Compacta Variegata that I got in the mail. I did an unboxing not too long ago. And I'm kind of letting them settle here a little bit. I haven't repotted them in where the pot where I want to put them at. But I have them here just uh, uh, settling down a little bit. But I'm going to repot them in a, in a day or two. And I'm going to yeah, put them in those pots. Okay, so that's it. So we're going to go down all the way down to the bottom shelf. Since this is an area that I guess has more visibility, I am keeping here my my Sibubu Pathos propagations. And you guys might have seen the video when I did that. It's been a few weeks, maybe three weeks, east, three weeks I would say approximately. And I'll show you a little bit how it's doing. Um, oh, you see the roots there? We got some roots going on. 
So there we go. Some they're doing overall well, but I'm some have, for example, here. This one you see the yellowing of the leaves. Usually, what I'm finding that these are the ones that got a little bit of root rot and no roots. Let's check it out. This one you see root rot. I don't see any roots. So what I'm gonna do here is cut this off. And now hopefully this node can propagate. So I'm doing that from time to time. And down here I have my my propagations of that um, Hoya Crinkle 8 that I'm doing doing a little my first try here propagating Hoyas and Leka. I hear that a lot of people uh, have high success in Leka. So I'm giving it a try here and I'm actually doing a video for you guys later on so you guys can see how it goes. And let's see what's interesting. Here is some Hoya uh, Crimson Princess propagations and a Carnosa. Where is the Carnosa? I think this is the Carnosa. Yeah. And then the, this is the princess. And having some little propagations here of, this is my curly orchid cactus, but it's not doing that great. I actually, yeah, that's a mess anyhow. But back here, this is working out. This is a succulent that I kind of just put a little leaf in there. It's actually kind of died off. These are the little leaves. You, and uh, instead of throwing them away, I put them here on top of this soil mixture and look at that we're getting some little babies just basically put it there i didn't even i just kind of put it on top of the soil and just sprayed it here and there and look at that it's going to become beautiful succulent and then um we have some orchids here for the winter that are kind of sleeping hopefully we'll, i've had these for a few years so from time to time, but very like once every month and a half, I'm like giving them water. Maybe I need to do it more often. I think they need water right now. Um, back here is a coral cactus that I got from Walmart. And I think it's doing, it's been, it was, look at that. I think it's so cute. I love everything that's going on with this coral cactus. And you see the, let's see the back here. The pink is beautiful. I, I think it's so pretty. And then this other one is a blue torch um, cacti or cactus. I guess there are two cactus um, that I got from Walmart. And they were they were only like $8 this past summer for both of them. Isn't that a great find? I love it. And I have it here for now. When it's summer, I'm going to put it more. Maybe they get more light outside the sun. And then we have a wondering. Um, I think they're, you're, you're supposed to say wondering um, dude. But um, I think it's so pretty and it's it's propagating right here. I did it some cuttings and I put it here and it's doing very well. It actually got in a lot, had gotten a lot of uh, uh, cold burn that I left it out too much when it started becoming winter. And I almost, I didn't really take care of it, but uh, it's such, so easy to propagate and it's still fighting to survive. And I think it's gonna do great. And basically, the rest of my shelf, I just keep different pots because I think it's good to have them handy where you can just pull out a pot the size that you need. Love these little liners, totally recommend them. You can pick them up at nurseries. I got these at Dollar Tree because they're so much, they're very cheap. Even these are from Dollar Tree. Um, so I have, it's wonderful when you're gonna water a plant to just sit this underneath the plant and water it thoroughly. Okay, now this is another little IKEA shelf and it was only 20 bucks and it's great for organizing different things. And on top of here I have, now I realized that this is called the Golden Hawaiian Pothos, which is different than just the Golden Pothos as you can tell. I knew it. When I bought it, I asked a lady what was the name of it and she just said Golden Pothos. But I'm like, this is not a Golden Pothos. I mean, look at the variegation. Look at the size of the leaves. So basically, I realized by seeing other people's videos and the names of plants in different nurseries, this is a golden Hawaiian golden pothos. So I think it's awesome. And I don't know if I'm going to let it trail or maybe put it on a pole so it can climb and grow bigger leaves. But that's where it's at for now. 
I have little doggy stuff here, um, but I like this little shelf here. I have a lot of my things that I need for my plants, and it's very easy to grab. Like for example, I have different um, treatments for the pests. I have these two, I use them very often. Neem oil, and this is from Bonite. And then also this one here, and this treats thrips, which this one doesn't. I haven't had thrips, but I recommend for anybody that's a plant parent to have all of these ready. Just in case one of the insects appear, you have different things you can use. Um, I keep alcohol in this one so I can spray it too on some plants when needed. This is my neem oil where I can do my own mixes in some of these spray bottles. One for just 100% water. Um, I use this a lot, the Super Thrive. Um, and then my handy dandy little uh, Q-tips. They have alcohol in it to remove uh, mealy box. Super, super suggested for you everybody to do this. And fish fertilizer, which I use a lot. But it's so easy. I come to the little box all the time to grab little things. These are two things that I'm grabbing constantly, so I left them here where I can see them. My little clippers, and this is to measure the water. The moisture meter, overall, that's the only thing I use it for to measure the moisture in my so soils. So I have it here, little doggy stuff. But this little vacuum cleaner, oh, I love it. Because I have a lot of, you know, when you have plants, you're gonna create messes, dirt, all that stuff. And it's very easy to clean the shelves or anywhere where I wanna pick up some soil. You just turn it on and you vacuum. Obviously for little areas. And I got this off of Amazon and it was only like, I don't know, about 20 bucks, but I think it's so awesome, so quick to pick up messes, which. And then here in this little box, I keep a lot of different things for plants. And it's a little messy right now, but I have microbates, I have my little Velcro thingies, um, I have my little stickies for the fungus gnats, I have cinnamon to put up to also for the fungus gnats, and I heard it's good for the mold too, which I have to do that for some of my plants right now. And uh, yeah, a lot of little miscellaneous, but just so it can look a little neater, I have it here. Nobody sees it. And then right over here, I have another plant. It's my philodendron um, goldie eye. And um, it's not doing that great. So I actually brought it to this plant room because I had it in the living room and I thought maybe it wasn't getting as much light. And I'm just trying to play with it and see what it wants. And first I, I knew my mistake was that I had put it in a soil mixture that was drying off too quickly. Um, but then I researched it and it actually likes to stay moist. So then I changed it up a little bit and I put some moss on top of it to give it a little bit more humidity. And it, I feel like I stabilized it because it was like going, all the, the leaves were turning to turn yellow. This one did turn yellow. I cut off one leaf already, this one turned yellow, but this one stabilized. I felt like it was losing its color and now it's just kind of stopped. So I'm happy to see that stop. And then this is a new, new growth that's been basically there for about two months and it hasn't done anything. So if you guys have any tips on the philodendron goldie eye uh, care tip and what it likes, let me know. I'm so far at this point, I'm basically trying to keep it moist and giving it um, medium, medium light, medium to almost a little bit towards bright in this room. Um, okay guys, so that was it. This is my plant room. You got to see a little bit about where I keep a lot of my plants. I think I counted in this one room is about 80 different plants. But I have a lot more to show you and I can't wait to show you. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button. That way it'll appear in your in your feed and you'll get a little uh, tone whenever I can load those next coming videos of my kitchen, of my living room. I have lots of plants there. I have a Kia greenhouse. I keep plants in my bathrooms. I love having plants all over my house. So hopefully you'll enjoy those videos too. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you like this kind of videos. Thank you for your support. And if you're new here, my name is Deanna and my heart beats fast for plants. And if your heart beats fast for plants, then don't forget to subscribe and join the plant family. Thank you. Bye. Till next time.